<laughs> well, I'm not instructing anyone. I threw up on Susie Q's voice. Oh. I wonder what's going on in your head, in your head, in your head. Brandon is supposed to be gaining weight. Is this bad? <laughs> Do you miss your buddies? It's kind of bobbing. Yeah, but if we went home, it wouldn't be any different, really. Happy birthday, Charlie. Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> Okay, it's another day in which you excel. Happy day. It's time to get to work and we've got some work going on. Yeah, they all are. It's like the work table. This has been designated the work table. What's happening, Jill? It is an outside... We're, we are in a school without walls, Michael. It's an outside learning environment that is enriching the soul, enriching the mind, <laughs> and enriching the heart. There's Brennan now. <laughs> Being enriched. Yeah, ESPN. <laughs> Kate on... Actually, you should hear what we're doing. It's kind of interesting. I like sort of like, at any one given moment, I always like to think, I wonder what's going on in your head, in your head, in your head, right? But here at the work table, we're all working on something very different. So I'll start. I'm working on posting today's video, and then I have to send some information to my friend Ada. Awesome. That's what I'm doing. Ryan? I'm doing a writing for social studies about uh, the reconstruction of America after the Civil War. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Brennan? Applying to be a USA water polo academic all American and writing a DBQ about the spread of Islam. Cool. What's a DBQ? Database question. Database question. Wow. Excuse me. <laughs> you say data. Excellent. I say data, 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 data. Let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Kate! <laughs> One second. Oh! I, I really couldn't tell you what I'm doing. We, we had to read something about food and then. An article. And He's then, like, find the main idea in every single paragraph, and there's nine of them. And then we had to give evidence for the main idea, which I don't know why they need evidence, but, like, it just makes sense. And then we have to explain what the author's purpose was for every single paragraph. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. And it's literally taken me three days. Like, normally I'm done with at least half of my work by Wednesday, but I this is, like, the third subject I've done, so. Kate, anger is the enemy of instruction here. <laughs> Well, I'm not instructing anyone. <laughs> this is the bane of Katie's existence. She's more of a uh, AP Gov kind of girl. She's a happier girl when girl. she's not doing this. Is yes, she? English is not. <laughs> but she's trudging through like the warrior she is. So that's our work table. That's what we got going on today. Uh -huh. It's kind of fun. All right, we're being very, very productive at the work table. We are actually getting work done, but we just had an interesting discussion about Mike said he doesn't think he doesn't think he can eat, ever eat a churro ever again. Katie, why do you think dad said that? <laughs> because it shows how successful I am and he can't even <laughs> handle it. <laughs> to break it down for you, Katie made churros and dad ate too many, now he can't eat them anymore. So. <laughs> I had 18. I had 18 churros. Did you count that you had 18? I had 18. <laughs> I probably made like 24. So they were small. They, they were, were little churros. churros but they were bite 18. Size. Wow. 18 is kind of a lot of churros. Yeah. If you guys haven't seen the video, check it out. We made uh, the Disney churro recipe, and Katie um, did a phenomenal job. At what? Oh, just get it. Did you just get a grade notification? A in physics. Oh, oh yeah, nice job. The table, the work table is obviously working. All right, so I was asking if there are any other foods of people that ha they have eaten too much of that they can't eat anymore. And Brennan, what was yours? Chimichangas. Jose, what happened? Jose Ola Chimichangas. I was just punishing like four uh, every day after school. And <laughs> got to be too much. Okay, mine. My problem is this. When I tend to overeat something, I end up becoming allergic to it. It's like my body like rejects it completely. I ate almonds every day for lunch for maybe, I don't know, six months. And then literally one day I ate an almond and I couldn't eat them anymore because I was allergic. I like chocolate almonds at Trader Joe's. And these little like cocoa butter or cocoa powder covered almonds. Mm -hmm. They were so good. And um, I ate a lot of them, and now I just developed this hate for almonds. <laughs> like, I can eat them, but it just, I just you don't, don't like you. eating them. Um, so whenever I'm in, uh, I eat Tramux, I just pick the almonds out. <laughs> That's um, so wrong. Yeah. Kate, do you have any food that you overate and now you can't eat it anymore? The, uh, mm. I always forget the flavor. Smoked? Are they smoked? Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the smoked almonds. The, they're, they're not uh, smoked. They're called... Smokehouse? Smokehouse almonds? Smokehouse flavor almonds? Oh so, my gosh, so, we had so, an almond over, so over lunch. Yeah, yeah.
Because I literally, they have like these court bat. It's a court, right? Is it a court? Uh, it's like, like a pound. Pint. I think they, they do it by a pound. Like, Is it a yeah. pound? Yeah. They have like these pound bags of almonds. Literally eat the whole bag. And they come in these small little tins too. That, what are they? Blue house or yeah, whatever it's called? Blue, blue diamond. Blue diamond, oh. yeah. And they come in these little tins. And I would get a little tin and eat it so fast. And so like you can't get the tins because then I eat it all. So then we started getting bags. And then I ate the whole bag too. So, <laughs> yeah. and now I can't eat them. Anymore. We bought them again, and they're not gone. We they're got not, them the I first know. time we, we used left, to, we used and to now go I can't through eat them. them in like five minutes. Is that oh. why you guys are nuts? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I no, I just thought of another one. Ritz crackers. They're so good, and I used to eat them literally all the time. Mm -hmm. I threw up on Susie Q's once. Okay. <laughs> 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 so the whole box. Oh. Here's the thing. He threw I up on ate. Suzy Q's once, and he threw up on eggs once, but he still eats Suzy Q's, and he doesn't eat eggs. eggs. So I ate a whole thing of black olives. A whole can of black olives. That was a bad idea. I, myself. I didn't throw up. I felt fine. Do you still eat black olives? Yeah, I love black oh. olives. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> so you can't even, like, you literally I, I have one so. more, and this is kind of a story. So when I first moved to Orlando, which is right after college, I moved to Orlando right to work for Walt Disney World. And I was, I went to college in Delaware, grew up in New York, so we didn't really, like, growing up, my mom didn't buy fresh squeezed orange bummer. juice. <laughs> I'm having a story. Sorry. <laughs> My mom did not buy fresh squeezed orange juice. We had five five kids to feed. And so we always had orange juice. It was like the frozen cans of concentrate and mix it with water. That was our orange juice growing up. When I moved to Orlando, I went to the grocery store and I'm shopping for myself. And I saw that there was fresh squeezed orange juice, like straight up Florida oranges. So I bought, it's called Black Howl or Black something. The label was black. And I would literally go through, I would say, I would say a half a gallon probably every three or four days. I drank it incessantly. It was so good. It was like the best thing I've ever had. And then I, I would say about two two years into it, I haven't been able to touch orange juice since. So I went through a very long period where I didn't drink orange juice, which is sad, but I think I went from, you know, concentrate to fresh squeeze. You and know what we should do is we should get some almonds, some smoke sure. almonds. Elements, so, so, uh, some, some Jose Olay's chimichangas, some chimichangas Suzy Q's, and some orange juice, and, we'll, and Ritz crackers, and have a party, and we won't eat anything, <laughs> or we'll trade. Huh? I might eat a chimichanga. Yeah, Ritz crackers. 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 Yeah, Ryan is at the working table working to the wee hours of the night. It's almost 8.30. I don't want to interrupt you, Ryan. Keep going. No, I just finished. He did? You did? Yeah. Are you turning it in? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're the greatest. Do you mind is... reading over this? Huh? I'll read over it, sure. Um, All right, I'm going to read over this real quick. And then you're having... Tell us what's going on. From my best friend, Charlie. Uh, his birthday is today, and it stinks that it has to be through all of this. But um, anyway, we're having a Zoom call to wish him a happy birthday. It's going to be fun, so I'm looking forward to it. And I'm glad that I got this done. And the Zoom call is at 8.30, and it's 8.29. What's up? All right, so we're waiting on the Zoom meeting to start. It looks like it's supposed to start at 8.30. We're a little bit, um, looks like we're a little bit late because the person who's supposed to start it didn't start it yet. Well, oh, yeah, we don't, we don't know what's really happening right now. Or at least I don't know. It says that we're waiting for the host to start this meeting. So this is the thing. How do you, um, we've been, like, trying to, keep up with friends from home which i think we have pretty well right uh -huh. yeah i mean yeah yeah i mean yeah brennan does a zoom call with his uh all of his friends katie just facetimes her friends a lot i'll like snapchat my friends uh play on the xbox with them so yeah, yeah. we're, we're kind of staying in touch you know yeah do you miss your buddies we're just kind of vibing yeah but if we went home it wouldn't be any different really because we can't see them right um anyway yeah so yeah. Yeah, we're kind of just sitting here staring at the screen. But you've been on the family Zooms before. Well, yeah, but someone else did that and I just hopped on. Right. Uh, I didn't hop, oh, I just hopped in the screen. And right, and whatever. said hi. Yeah, right. I said hi. Anyway, um... Well, it's crazy that so many celebrations have had to happen over Zoom, like birthday celebrations or, well, we had um, Uncle Chris's birthday celebration. You're mm -hmm. having Charlie's now. Will's birthday was today, so Brennan FaceTime Will. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, I feel bad. And you know what they did yesterday? They just canceled the prom for our whole county, mm. which is really sad. So yeah. there's lots of things we're missing. Mm. So there's so many things. So comment down below, you guys. Have you missed a lot of things because of what's going on? Like, have you oh, missed wait, prom or graduation or 
um, birthdays, anything like that. I'm hoping that this whole thing, we just open up soon so everybody can get back to life and celebrating life like yeah. uh, like we were meant to, mm -hmm. right? So hopefully you guys are getting through this okay mm -hmm. and Wait, keeping in touch. Call. Oh, there we go, we're gonna FaceTime call. Wait, where's, uh, where's Christian? Happy birthday, Charlie. I hope you have a great birthday, sweetie. Right. <laughs> no, that's the problem. No one, no one cut his head. That's the problem. <laughs> Yeah, someone definitely gave you. It's it's um, it's a little long. It's a little long. I uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I mean, just get a curler in here. You know? <laughs> happy birthday, Charlie! Oh, my dad. My dad says happy birthday. By the way. Yeah. Um, throwback actually to that one moment at your birthday party when my dad dug in the trash for uh, your cupcakes. That's a legendary Charlie birthday moment. They were good cupcakes. Ryan is celebrating Charlie's birthday with one of our homemade cupcakes. Right. Yo. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, Brendan brought the scale out. What does it say, Brendan? Wait. Okay. All right, you guys, just to bring you up to speed. Come on. Brennan and Mike are in a race. How, when did this start, by the way? Would, would you say it started in February? <laughs> First of all, Mike went in to get and stole Brennan's uh, Easter basket. He's eating it. He is supposed to be losing weight. Brennan is supposed to be gaining weight. The first person to 155 with Brennan exactly. gaining and Mike losing wins. Now, come on, man. What does that say? Oh! That Wait a minute. It said, do it again. Brennan, that's ridiculous. This might be it. No, it's but, not. But, okay. All right, so Mike, would you like to clarify why that doesn't count? Well. <laughs> As you're well, eating his Easter candy, you are not getting anywhere near one I might be a little bit behind. <laughs> <laughs> but we said a true um, weight comes in the morning when you're on that all filled with Easter candy. So... <laughs> Um, so if he's 155 tomorrow morning, then you guys go to the Publix and weigh in at the Publix. Is that yeah. right? Because that's the official scale is at the Publix. Is there a particular Publix or any Publix? Well, there's an accurate one and a non-accurate one. So you have to go to the accurate Publix? Right, it's just filled with water. and. <laughs> he just drank a huge protein shake. Got to stretch the muscles. That's right, Brennan. Look at you. And Look you, you. <laughs> you're pathetic. <laughs> is this bad? Stealing your son's Easter basket. Yes, you're supposed to be losing weight, not I'm, gaining weight. I'm going to win. I didn't think you, I thought you didn't like jelly beans, though. I love jelly he beans. He loves jelly beans. I'm the one that doesn't like jelly Starburst beans. Starburst jelly beans are the best ones, for sure. Yes, if there ever, is ever jelly bean, Starburst is the one to eat. All right, I think it's time to call a night a night. Hey, Mike, look, there's like three of us in the picture. See, you, me, and the lady in the picture. Oh. My mom has had that picture since I was a kid. And I can remember being very scared of it when I was a little yeah. girl. <laughs> it was like three dollars. Yes, it's a great story. Yes, yes, yes. I'll tell you guys that story someday. All right, what made you happy today, Michael John? Well, thanks for asking. What made me happy today was working with you. I appreciate your help. Absolutely, we had a great meeting today. Love it. Oh wow, we might need to cut your hair. Right. Are you want me to cut your hair? Fire it up. Oh, I'm so excited. That'd be so much fun. All right, you guys, what made me happy today was, um, actually, was Ryan having a, um, having his Zoom call with his friends. It's really nice to see him reconnecting with his friends again, especially after being apart from them for so long. And they're still on. And now it's been, either nine, three, ten, three and a half hours. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a minute. What made you happy today? Um, what made me happy today was obviously this and getting a lot of work done. I got all my math and all my social studies done today. Congrats. Feels good. Congratulations. So thank you. Um, yo, guys. What made you happy today, Christian? Well, oh, what made me happy today was getting on with the boys. Oh, that's awesome. Grammy, how about you? Oh, uh, the same thing. Where's the birthday boy? Oh, he, he's on it. He just, um, he's playing mobile. Oh, mobile can we hear him? Uh, Charlie. He's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. He's on. He's on.
Okay, wait, can one of you guys ask him uh, what, what made him happy today? Same thing as us. His, his birthday party? Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, it being his birthday. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Who are you talking to? Um, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Hi. Everybody's reconnecting with their friends today. Sophia. <laughs> there she yeah, is. What made you happy today, Sophia? Um, me and my mom went grocery shopping and I got some peanut butter and candy. That's when you're <laughs> supposed to say talking to Katie and you just like screwed it up. So. <laughs> Oh, she wasn't done. There's oh, there's, there's more. And the fact that me and Katie have been on FaceTime for like two hours. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Oh, my gosh. Sophia, do you see anybody? Do you see any people at home at all? Um, yes, I saw my friend Carmen at the field. <laughs> ah, okay. But like not like you're not getting together for play dates or anything. <laughs> and some other no. people. Did you say and play some dates? Other I did. Well, we hope you're doing well. We miss you, Sophia. I miss you, too. All right. We'll see you soon, I'm sure. Katie, what made you happy today? Um, well, going on my run made me feel like I did something and finished my English thing, which took oh, me forever, and talking to Sophia. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right, very good. Well, you had a good day. I did have a good day. All right, have a good good night's sleep, okay? Thank you. Love you. Bye, Thank Sophia. You. Bye. Have a good night's sleep. Bye. Good night. All right, so I think that's the end of the night, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. We had a great day today. We hope you did, too. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, and then the next day is Friday. Be sure to join us live at 5 on Friday, 5 Eastern, for Happy Hour with the Donnellys. Very excited about that. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do this weekend, or this, this Friday, but we'll be sure to put it out on social media. Follow us on It's the Donnellys Official on Instagram, and um, you can see all of the rest of Katie, Brennan, Ryan, and my Instagram down there, and we'll see you tomorrow. Comment down below what made you guys have today. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.